Great. More fucking dwarves. Oh god, what a game. What a game to be without. I don't even know if it's the same guy or not. No, it's not. What a game to be, to have all your skinks for. Oh, no. And I can't even buy anything because it'll put delay the getting the saurus even longer. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. Please have a crap record. No. No. Okay, it's going to be a loss, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, exactly. Very small game people like quality mechanics and combat things. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I love magic. I don't really like Hearthstone that much, but I like the um I like how it as you say, yes, yeah, designed to be playing on PC. But I mean I think there's too many random shenanigans, but still. Just like the way it all works and that and it, it's like it all looks clean and everything and I just think it it works well. Fuck is this? Oh, this is so fucking dumb. Fucking six skinks. Everybody who recommends, by the way, everybody who recommends making a, a skink team, a lizard man team, and not and like you know going the three rerolls and dropping the crocs is just wrong. Hey, you're wrong. Simple as. Fuck is this? Uh, do you know what I should have received? I'm still trying to win, and I should have just received, got a touchdown, drawn one one. That's what I should have done. I should have received this game. Yeah, the the Hearthstone is is very RNG like, yeah. Yeah, dead dead Saurus and miss next game crocs. What a horrible match. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if it was against, like, Chaos or whatever. But everyone, like, you know, they've got so much block and... Even just block, but they've got so much tackle as well. It's the worst... The worst race to have more... Oh, my God. The worst race to have more fucking skinks against. <laughs> Always go for the win. <laughs> Oh man! Speaking of which, I should update the title to seven and all, because it'll be. Nah, I'm gonna lose now, probably. Yeah, Jimmy Armour back to normal. Yeah.
<laughs> Jumped over the top slot. Yeah, that's true, Pedro. I was thinking of playing more, more, um, more arena, you know. The reason that I started playing constructed was to do a, was to be the world champion. <laughs> um, but looking back, I think I should just play arena. See you, see you VIP Kurgar. Hello, Kerbal. Oh, God, this is going horribly, this game. <laughs> Oh shit. The good news is you still have four Saurus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit, be playing be playing Storm Warning in an hour, Kerbal. I do love Storm Warning, even though I've got no no epic coolers anymore. Which uh which is not good, is it? I sold I sold the one epic cooler that I had. And my epic stealth. Um hoping to um buy them after the after the event. Um, finishes where hopefully the scrap goes down. Soldier triple eighty eight, you absolute madman! I was thinking of buying a third eighty eight so that I'd um, at least have something. <laughs> oh, I know that. Yeah, there's been some, been some big cunts. Big cunts, the last game. I got fucked on <laughs> and lost my uh lost Crocs miss next game, Saurus killed, so started this game with only five Saurus and then it's fucking dwarves, isn't it? Where I can't protect my skins. Extra strength, extra block here. This is fucking hideous. <laughs> fucking hideous. This king's just getting back. The worst, the worst race to play when you've only when you're only starting with five big guys. A bigger cunt than Joffers. I like Joffers, to be honest. <laughs> I actually liked. I liked old Joffers. I thought he got a bad rap. Definitely like him more than fucking Daenerys. Holy shit. Holy shit, I'm sick of that.
<laughs> Why so many skinks? <laughs> Yes, because everyone got fucking injured, that's why. Everyone got injured, that's why so many skinks. If you notice, they're all, uh, they're all journeymen. Yeah, why not? Burn in the center, it might get me an extra mighty blow blow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, she's boring in the books and she's boring in the show as well. But I mean, she's terrible. She's terrible in, uh, in well, not that I've seen it, of course, but um, the trailer for Terminator. Holy shit. Holy shit. That, that, her, her scene in the trailer was enough to make make me not even consider watching that movie. Holy shit. Right, three dice with Mighty Blow's alright, isn't it? Um, but then would also like to Mighty Blow this shithead. There's this to work in. Yes! Right, if I power him, then I can block the other guys, can't I? But his guard's a bit annoying. Nice. I think the follow isn't the worst thing here. Could push him into another block there. Maybe the journeyman goes on here. I don't get the extra block. Get banged on shithead dwarves. This is the unsullied guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Sheffield Steelix. <laughs> yep, I am. This is the unsullied guy. Oh, man. <laughs> It's the way the book went, though, isn't it, Astro Toy? It's the way the book's gone as well. Fucking George, George Martin has a big fucking boner for 14-year-old Daenerys. And that's what that's what it's all about, isn't it? So, um, you know, it is what it is. At least he might score early then. He's he's potatoed himself, hasn't he, for no real reason. <laughs> the Battle of the Bastards was cool, but they, it was more exciting. I thought they. This this latest battle was was more was more exciting because you knew John Sch John Schnee as he's called in Germany you knew John Schnee was gonna was gonna win the Battle of the Bastards and you knew you knew Ramsey was gonna die didn't you? you know you knew you knew that was gonna happen so so with that in mind there was absolutely no no fucking no drama at all was there whereas this one you knew 
you knew Daenerys was going to fuck everyone up with the dragons. But it was whether, whether fucking fan favourite Bronn or Jamie were going to die, wasn't it? So... God, these fucking both downs. Like, okay, they're better than just failing. But, pretty annoying. That fucking guard guy. No guard here, though, is there? I dodge him out because he's he's a good guy. Ha, <laughs> fail the one with dodge. Typical. Yeah, but um, but that's the thing, though, isn't it? Anyone might die any second is just not true. Because Daenerys will not die. <laughs> Jon Snow will not die. Tyrion will not die. Especially, especially now that it's just the TV show and they don't have to. They don't have to like follow the books. That you know that the fan favorites that fucking bring in the money aren't gonna die. <laughs> because they're just not gonna do it, are they now? Um, so it was so obvious that, like, so I guess in a way it was a bit obvious that Jamie wouldn't die, but Jamie Jamie could die. Um, but you know, Jamie and Bron could die, but that there, there's no way like John and Daenerys and Tyrion are going to die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, but he didn't, did he? You knew he was coming back in the show, even if he doesn't come back in the books. Which, you know, he probably will. Oh, man. If he disconnects, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, Sansa. Oh, God. To be fair, that's something that... That's something the... Uh, the TV shows, like, I think she's a shitty actress, is Sansa, whatever the fucking name is, because, God, she's fucking awful in X-Men as well. Holy shit. But whatever the fucking name is, I think she's a terrible actress, but she nails Sansa. <laughs> because in the books, when if you, if you read the books, you're like, oh, good, I got to a Sansa chapter, I can put the book down now. <laughs> That's uh, that's all I've done. Every time, every time I get to a Sansa chapter, I'm like, all right, good, I can I can stop reading now. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's true, Jelly. That's very true. Oh, the fucking egg on thing. Like to be fair, like you know, the books the books are good, but I don't like I don't like how fucking Georgie Porgy just fucking you know adds shit. Add shit onto it over and over and over again. It's not good. Not good. He's gonna score this turn, looks like. It. Three turn touchdowns, well doable, isn't it? No, I haven't no styles. Fucking the dawn thing that was just for the show. That was awful, wasn't it? Like that. That. that <laughs> that's the. Uh, that's the thing. Like that. That doesn't fill you with confidence for the rest of this. The rest of the series. When so far the only thing they've done in their own was the fucking dawn storyline, which was, <laughs> which was absolutely the low point of the series by far.
Oh, for fuck's sake, my chicken's ready, but I ain't. Didn't fucking hear the thing go. Yeah, you're totally wrong, Astro Tor. But, um. <laughs> the Don not the Don's Rebellion, they're just the whole fucking. What's it called? Bron and uh, Bron and Jamie go for a visit to Dawn. It was fucking awful, wasn't it? I mean, I guess the fact that the show, the showmakers thought of that himself, themselves, meant that they were on the side of Bron and Jamie. So, I guess that's uh, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea to um, to have done that. Oh, I love I love Bron, but the the that that little fucking that little expedition to Dawn was hideously bad, wasn't it? Hideously bad. <laughs> hideously bad. The fucking sand snakes and that. Oh my god, it was so badly done. It was horrible. That the whole Dawnish bit should have just been cut out. Like when there's so much in the books, and they just they just add a fucking horrible little shit thing. Yeah, well, it's um, it's the big problem is the low number of episodes and the money drying up. But um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Br Bron is good. To be fair, Bron is Bron is fucking money, isn't he? Old. Old Jerome Flynn is is money in the bank, but um, where was I going with that? Yeah, I like Cersei. I think she's. Oh, I should have, shouldn't have followed. Gave up a block there, didn't I? Time for the one and nine. No. Probably try to get a bit further forward than what I have done, shouldn't I? Which is <laughs> not forward at all. But I can get right up. Mm, I'll say right up. It's close enough, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just need a bit to go either side. So he is fine. Right, I shall let the uh, I shall let the clock go down as I make my dinner.
Right, I'll eat me dinner now, so uh, there will be less less talking. But um, yeah, I spent most of the dragon battle running the Bronze Day. Yeah, but Bron, I like Jamie too. So yeah, I guess they they probably like Jerome Flynn because he's popular and cheap. So I guess Bron will definitely survive. <laughs>
And of course, the one time I want to push, I can't fucking get it. Outrageous. <laughs> yeah, you got me. <laughs> you got me, Sheffield. <laughs> you got me. That's this is the kind of play that I hate. Straight up minus two for no reason. Wow. Hmm. 
<laughs> basing him even though he's not standing up. Pro play move there. Yeah, Juggernaut's trash, and the, and the reason that it's trash is it's too it's too situation. Like it's good, and yes, it'd be good on all these clutch things where you only need a push to be doing it with Juggernaut. But every other turn of the game, block is better. And it's only better in those crucial things we need to push if you're hitting a guy with block. Like, obviously, these last couple of games against Dwarves, where everyone's got block, it you you know, you would get more value out of Juggernaut, but you just can't rely on having the Juggernaut guy in the right place at the right time every time. It's why I don't like throwers for, like, any race. Apart from as a, you know, sure hands for the humans is fair enough. But, like, you know, the idea of a thrower is just crap because... You'd have to get him in the right place at the right time to throw him. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Usually, most of the passes that I do with elves are defensively after picking up the ball or whatever, you know, and then passing it to somebody to make it safe, kind of thing. <laughs> it's got an interesting strategy of just giving up blocks. Shit, that these are two without block, but I've got to do them first to get the mighty blow on this guy, haven't I? The one nine happened. Uh... Oh God, I'm gonna go with block. <laughs> yeah. yeah, agility five especially tends to fail things, but um. Oh man, it really grinds my gears when people make one dice blocks for no reason. Okay. It cost him nothing to bring this guy around, did it? Make it two guaranteed. But he's like, nah, I'll roll my two plus my dauntless. One dice for no reason. Oh my god. Does my nut in? <laughs> no reason not to make it two dice. <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> I can make a good move down this side now, eh? Is it Homer Simpson? I thought it was uh I thought it was Family Guy. Or did they do it or they did they do it to take the piss out of uh What's it called? Simpsons. Yes, Jason. <laughs> I do have some uh, advice. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Don't. <laughs> um, but on a more serious note, um, or just don't. If you play, if you play forty k, um, if you play forty k, 
just do it for fun. Don't enter tournaments or anything. Just um, because it's it's just too shit. It's just too shit. Yeah, money in a fast car. You just drive around like crazy. Yeah, that's true. Um. And yeah, I remember it from Peter Griffin when he was on the news and he was like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's the amount you have to pay. Yeah. Um, it's not a difference in play, time, play style. It's, it's just literally you're relying on your guy being in the right place, which you cannot possibly rely on. It's just a. It's just a. It's just wrong. It's just a flawed, a flawed. That's what's. That's why it's a flawed idea, isn't it? Because you're entirely reliant on your guy being in the right place at the right time. I could switch sides here. Block, block, block. Blitz, block, free up. Block, block, move around. Don't have to force down the sideline. He doesn't get the free up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a little bit fucked, isn't it, this? Block, block, block. <laughs> yep. This lad will block this lad. <laughs> Just left him a four plus to hit the ball. This, this guy shouldn't have moved first, should he? I don't mind. Still got plenty of time. And um Yeah. Blood ball. Um yeah, I don't know, I guess get a get the box if you haven't played it before and then you've got like a, a fucking I don't know. Um just get a team in it. Get a team and play it. <laughs> there's, not, there's not really a lot of advice, but I would I would say don't try to get don't get invested in 40k because I think it's a fucking horrible, horrible, horrible game to take seriously. I think it's fine if you're just playing it for fun. Um But Oh, I just realised I turned off the event list, didn't I? Because I was, I was trying the, um... I was trying out the, uh... The fucking Jimmy Fantastic thing. It's pretty cramped, though. I don't know where, to, where I could put it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, irrelevant blitz. And <laughs> GFI, he's got a... Can't get that canoring threat. <laughs> Ballsy GFI, down to there. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have tried to force through that side.
It was actually really tactical. One edition, fifth or something, was really was really good. Um, 40k, but the problem is it's um, it's it's just not a competitive game. People can just cheat so easily and everything. Oh, you fuck you. Yes, yes. Oh shit. That's okay, that's what I need. I need to be able to get through here. I should be able to turn the corner this turn, I think. I think I can get around here. Um, he blocks him. He blocks him and that frees him up, doesn't it? So he can block there first. Which means he can block and then follow. Well, doesn't need to follow now, maybe. Okay, I'll follow. Better safe than sorry, eh? This one really would like to be a power, wouldn't it? Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And get all the way up there. One, two, three. So you can get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can get the corner there after I uh, power this guy. And then he can just try, try to go there, innit? Three plus, all right. Pretty strong, pretty strong spot, I think, now, all together. Well, there's nothing wrong with 40k as long as you're playing it with friends and stuff. Yeah, there you go, Jason. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine if you play it for fun and that. That's the thing. That's really the thing. Um... That's really the thing. 40k is fine if you just play it for fun. Um, but, but yeah, just stay away from it as a competitive endeavour because that's where I went wrong trying to, trying to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing was, he he just didn't put any pressure on, did he? So I, I, he just let me chill back here and grind the clock down. The problem isn't so much the scoring as the. Uh, there's the scoring and stalling, isn't it? So, um, with well, you might you might do a good job here of uh, getting in the way. As I say, it's not that hard to score, but it's not as hard to score as it is to uh, score. That stuns massive. Score without, you know, before he. Oh, God, I can't speak again. The thing is, I'm playing OP Lizards, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <sighs> this is pretty tough now, though, isn't it? Because um, I've got no Saurus. <laughs> and no Skinks. But that, that stun's just massive, because without that I could have blitzed him and uh, done something. One dice blitz. Him being strength four is just massive, isn't it? Can't really go back this well. He could block. He could block, but then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. Would that put us free of everything? No. 
could get to there. Yeah. But he could still... No, he could only base. So what would this be? A block there. Block there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI, something like that. Three away, he could reach. So we'll do this block first, see what happens. One, two, three, four, I'd have to do a blitz, wouldn't I, as well? Oh, God, what would I even do? I could block him, but then I'd still have to make a dodge. Block him down and follow. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. But that's still a dodge. Whereas this way, it would be a one dice block. Now it's just dodge through. Fuck it. It draws, it draws all right anyway. Yeah, I, that was really bad getting the boat down there, wasn't it? If I'd got the, after I'd committed to kind of, I think this play was better, but after committing the skin, it meant that I couldn't one dice block him, which. Let's have a look at the dice log. It would have been a push. Or what would it have been? I don't know. Yeah, I want to use Dodd. Why wouldn't I? Could have he could have double skulled, couldn't he? Yeah, cheesemonger. That's what I was thinking about my my magic cards. I thought if I if I were to die or something, like what would my parents even do with my magic cards? They would probably just sell them for a fucking fiver or give them to my mates or something, not even realizing how much it how much they're worth. <laughs> Happened when my uh, my friend <laughs> my friend hung himself. He. Uh, his mum gave uh, gave his cards to to like one of his friends. I was like, "You little shit! I wish I'd got them." You can't have got a small fortune. Oh man! Oh, what a game to fucking lose, eh? What a fucking game of all. <laughs> Jim Dark. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, well. Fuck it. Ah. 
I don't know how much they're worth, how much mine are worth, or how much his were. But they're worth a lot. I'm gonna lose after all that. I'm gonna fucking lose, can you believe it? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how much. How much mine are worth, or how much his are worth, but um, they're worth a lot, you know. I've got like. Uh, I've got four Force of Wills. Don't know how much they're worth anymore. Oh, thank God for that. Probably not worth that much anymore because they brought them out in the, the new invocations, haven't they? Um, and like loads of dual lands and stuff. Oh, thank God. I thought he'd scored for sure because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you've got to play, haven't you? You've got to assume that they make their 5 plus and you fail your 2 plus, basically. Um, MVP for him is alright. 3 armor breaks, despite 16 blocks with Mighty Blow. 50 blocks total. Okay. Yeah, and all the, all the, all the fucking 40k stuff as well is worth a, worth a pretty penny, isn't it? What's this? Just to miss next game, no problem. Mindy was the one that died, wasn't it? Alright. God, that, thank God, thank God I had the 80k for it anyway, after that. So, back up to the full, full amount of big guys. Go down to only three blockers. And still got the show hands who hasn't scored since he got show hands, I don't think. <laughs> Might have scored one. Um, yeah. It's looking better than, than that last I mean getting a getting a draw there is alright really. To start starting with that team against like even Undead and Necro would have been alright, but against a team with that much block and tackle it was a nightmare. But even then I should have I should think I should have won really. Um just fucked it up, didn't I? With trying to switch sides, committing to the switching sides and failing. If I'd just gone for the, but then if I'd gone for the one dice block, maybe I would have just both downed it and failed anyway. So, um, <laughs> oh no, they're massively underpriced. Well, they're underpriced by ten uh, k, aren't they? According to the, according to the pricing formula of, uh, of what everybody does, of what Galak reverse engineered. So, um. Multi-block for a tree, yeah, why not eventually? Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.